Yo, hey, what's up, guys? In today's video, we're gonna tackle Amios with a two man team, what I just set up, and I'm pretty certain that it will work because I do know the ins and outs about the boss and I have done a couple of things about him. So at the moment you see a couple champions that you might have that you don't, who knows, you have them, you have them not. But I'm gonna tell you like the ins and outs, why they are set up and stuff. And later on you can do different teams. You just understand the boss. So let, just for an example, you see the Venomage, he will be my tank right now. And I set him up to have the lowest HP but the highest defense and his stats are really stacked up right now of course it's an epic first of all he doesn't have so much stats by him own you later on you can do a legendary it will be way easier to get on those stats but i got 6000 defense and 55000 hp also i got accuracy on him to use extra actually his stuff but uh, i will talk about that later so that's basically all the time when you go on emios you will think about a tank that takes the a1 of the boss that, then you make him low, lowest HP while having the highest defense. Also, instead of him, I could use my Bivolt. No problem. He has just high blessings. The thing you're gonna search for is high blessing champion. You can use a Newt. No problem. You just have to rebuild him for that and that is no problem. So basically you can take everyone. You can make pretty tanky even your Aniwi, you could use her, no problem if you have a high stat on her. Just make the highest, uh, the lowest HP and the highest defense so she will get hit by the hardest attack. She's gonna survive and you just go on. But in our case we will use Venomage because he has one more thing that makes our run really easy. Let me check where he is, right there. He does have a heal reduction. Basically, you don't need to have a heal reduction at all. For, for one thing, we're going to talk about the DPS and stuff, what we're going to do and stuff for that if we don't have heal reduction a little bit later. But we do have heal reduction, so we can just literally slowly kill the boss. It does not kind of matter what kind of DPS you bring because you have heal reduction. So yeah, of course there are the 3% that it will not land and your run go, goes a little bit longer. But if you have heal reduction, that is super nice. For example, like if I wouldn't have heal reduction right now, I will use a team like that. My good buddy Yannick did it like that. I will probably do a video about that too. It was way faster and stuff. But in that team right here, you are basically going for damage only and the boss will heal. So you could just bring a heal reduction champion, just the third one. And if you want to, you can bring a block debuffs if you want to. If you want to, you can block bring a healer on the end. I do not know if I have like any good one to show right now. Let's say... Where is he? Just, it's a, yeah, okay, that one is way better. It's also a revive. And then you have a full team. That is no problem. But at some point you need to bring some things and the damage needs to be more than the boss can heal or else you bring heal reduction. And yeah, we're gonna do heal reduction for our team because I like to do it too, man. It's kind of more fun and stuff just to get on the limits. So he will be the tank and our damage will come from Brimstone, HP burn. Also, Artak, I did a video. He can basically do it solo. If you stack him up the, the good way and he lands his brimstone in the really nice ways for you then he can do it solo so you don't need a heal reduction that's kind of what i'm hint hinting for and also you kind of don't need a block debuff like first of all i thought it is necessary but at this point i'm just pretty certain then you don't need it anymore because i can just literally do it and yeah i will talk about a couple of things in the run for example like how to manage this boss because right now like there, there are some information that you that you might need for making your tank always be the tank i'm gonna take like give me two more seconds we're gonna reach that turn in a second and i will kind of explain what i mean right now he's not gonna transform for some reason we got yeah for example right now if you place a buff on a champion that can be flipped on a single one just imagine Venomage gets increased speed only him and the boss will transform that boss to a negative, that champion will be automatically the target for that super hard hitting A1. For example, you bring a Sill of the Drake, she, she does like a increased speed on a random champion. And kind of when you have Sill of the Drake and she does take a turn right now, it's randomized. One of your champion will get the buff and the boss gonna flip it and automatically that champion will be the, the, the target. So that's basically not what you want and also most buffs counts. For example, if I put increased defense on my whole team, 
then it's even again then the lowest defense and the no no <laughs> sorry so if we put like increased defense on the whole team everything is even and then for example in my case the venom mage would be automatically the target again because he has the lowest hp while having the highest defense so the boss will attack him but if there's another champion that get increased defense and increased speed like one buff more than your target that you wanted it to be then it will just literally be the guy with the highest buffs so keep that in mind that is super hard sometimes the boss does weird stuff for you but i'm just hoping to kind of explain to you so you kind of get a hang why something happened and also let's go in the next turn like where something is super like important and stuff so this turn right now when he did his blast right here it is super important what kind of attacks the boss is gonna use when he transforms back in his normal form is he gonna start with his flipping attack where he uses all the debuffs he has and puts them into positives and or does he just use his heal, heal skill that is super important and we have to really we have to be aware what's gonna happen so i'm trying to explain you right now for example we gotta take kind of a look it's kind of a little bit bad because i cannot show you right now because it's in a different form but he can just flip certain buffs like increase attack and uh, no, and i may i meant sorry it's kind of sometimes a little bit much so if the boss gets like a certain debuff right now for example decrease attack he can flip it he can also flip heal reduction that's what i'm gonna do right now like let me show you i'm gonna put up hp burn first let's talk about hp burn and poison HP burn and poison cannot be flipped so these those debuffs are not counting as trigger for the boss for using his skill that he gonna flip those skill into positives like for example right now we do have heal reduction heal reduction and poisons though like HP burn heal reduction and poisons HP burn and poison do not matter you can put endlessly much on him that does not matter does not make the boss trigger anything else but the heal reduction is basically giving the boss a trigger to use his a2 i think it says a2 when he flips back but it only counts if you ha have at least two debuffs that he can flip then he will automatically do the flipping attack all the time and that's what we don't need want at the moment that's why for example i'm not gonna use decrease attack right now but just for the purpose i'm gonna just show you now now he has two debuffs that he can actually flip and he will go into his flipping attack right here so he used all his power to use actually our debuffs to make him stronger that's not what we want and that is not the strategy we are trying to fulfill so i'm gonna just start from the beginning because we might die he has increased attack um yeah increased attack and he's gonna do a bunch more of attacks so at the beginning i'm just doing my, my normal stuff it's not too much like i just have to focus on basically two phases of the boss like he didn't stun again so whatever right here so we don't have any buffs so our tank can be 100% the, the tank or else we have the same amount on buffs on all our champions so the tank will still be the tank all the time keep that in mind so at the moment for example i could use decrease attack right now it's no problem because yeah it will just give us a little bit of a lowering attack of the next one we don't want to use that thing right now and yeah um venom mage has a heal reduction on a three turn cooldown usually you can use like for example the hp run right here is no problem with venom mage i have to do the skill right now or else i will be busted just believe me or else i will be busted because it's a three turn cooldown but other heal reduction champions that have like for the two turn duration that can do it one turn later that is no problem to be honest but on venom mage i need to do it right now and he didn't die because he's the tank and this time i don't use decrease attack on the boss that's actually what we want i could use that skill right now but it would put all those debuffs and will give give the boss a trigger to do his flipping attack and right now he didn't use his flipping attack he tried to use his heal heal skill but he had heal reduction on him tried to use the skill and it basically went off so the boss did not heal even we don't see heal reduction right now but it was perfectly timed and now we can just do basically a once again <clears throat> easy peasy 
I didn't even try the team. I just set it up and I was like, ah, that's going to work. No problem, because I just know the boss. And at the moment, we are on a run on the passive. So the boss is going to flip right now. We can use decrease attack now. I kind of recommend it. It's good right now, but you don't have to. Let, just let me show you. With Just don't talk about it. Just do it once and then, yeah. So basically, I do heal reduction and the poison thingy on the one spot and the other, the HP bonus basically for free on Artak. And you kind of get your brimstone here and there it doesn't depend what kind of brimstone just the one star would be okay because we have heat reduction right now so everything should be super easy breezy it kind of depends when i kill the boss so i'm gonna do the heal reduction again right here i'm gonna survive hopefully that's kind of not looking too good <laughs> so a1 again we want we don't want the decrease attack just one debuff that can yeah, just one debuff that the boss can flip right here, and he's still gonna use his other skill, like the, yeah, the skill right here, where he tries to heal, but he couldn't heal because of the heal reduction, and so on. I just hope my Venomage is not gonna die. Sometimes it looked like a little bit hardcore, but the heal is also really nice. Of course, we got regeneration gear and stuff, but I also will talk about masteries that will really will help you, and yeah, so we're gonna use decrease attack again. So the next hit will won't be so hard and that my Venomage has have more HP for the really hard hitting one. He's not supposed to do anything here. Basically just one skill on one timing and that's it. Yeah, I know your Artak, you can kind of feel free to free just when you use the HP burn. I just kind of do it all the time right here. Kind of it just went in into it because I was talking and stuff, but just feel free to just use it whenever you want. And he survived again, that is cool. Gets a little bit of a heal, we're just using normal skills, so the boss will do his main thingy, and yes, no decrease attack now, because he's still gonna use the flipping attack, so if you use decrease attack now, it would flip him into increase attack, and that's not what you want, that is what nobody wants. And also keep in mind guys, you can do so many things, like just bring the damage somehow with brimstone and other certain things, right now we have all the nudes, all the... the Wisp boss and all that that is okay you can just overwhelm the boss and just kick him kick his ass in like a couple of turns if you can if you don't can you might do something like that where you just take it a little bit more easy and for the future also just make your tank the first priority to be honest and you should be kind of good if you bring the damage around him and also yeah kind of the healing of course you can bring other champions like a rector or something that does the healing job and so on that is no problem just be on the speed, have the accuracy if you need it. Where are we right now? We are gonna use the decrease attack and you should be okay, so. Like you see right now, I'm just gonna do my Amios clear like because I know how to handle him and it's not so hard anymore. And if you really can't get it done or you wanna get some help, I do offer um, takeover services. They are paid, but maybe you wanna just get into it or something. And I also do like coachings and stuff where we just to take a look on your account together and you we will find out something that shouldn't be a problem i beat that boss like every time <laughs> since the beginning like yeah easy so no debuffs right here he's gonna try to heal again no problem he got a smite really really nice we're not gonna use decrease attack right now because he would flip it he's still about to flip that thing but we don't give him anything to flip because we don't want to, like, yeah, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> also decrease attack right here. And nothing here. We're about to kill him somehow, somewhere. I don't know when we're gonna kill him. That's kind of the problem sometimes, but it will happen eventually. It's not like he's gonna survive forever. We put the brimstone out right here. That is actually not so good because I think he's taking four turns every time so the brimstone would be at the same time every time but yeah let's see what's gonna happen let's see let's see no debuffs right here no debuffs right here uh, maybe the timing uh let's see let's see we're gonna not do anything right here not do anything right here Yes, we're just taking the stun because we're kind of fast. So we have four turns on our champions. That shouldn't be a problem. We are on one. Should I set up the double attack? Um, all right, let's go. Decrease attack is just way safer. So yeah. 
it's kind of sad that you cannot use decreased attack in the moment right give me a sec right here to make the boss go lower damage on your target on your on your tank it is kind of unfortunately but it is how it is if you use right now decrease attack he will flip it in the next one and he can, gonna get like all the continuous heals because of heal reduction and we don't want that so um i think i should use is he gonna die i think he is gonna die when i land the brimstone right now like he also will get the poison let's do a one hope for now yes nice 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 so we get the heal reduction we should get a brimstone in the next one because i got a five star brimstone so it's it's more likely to be on place why didn't it land come on dude but now we get a brimstone please <laughs> please no <laughs> i hate you <laughs> i hate you <laughs> Why are we not getting brimstones? I don't want brimstone right now. That would be so hard. It's gonna happen. Oh, it didn't. I gave him increased attack. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Oh, that could be the end of my run right now because I kind of, I was just brain farting. Um, not gonna do anything here. I hope he's gonna lose the increased attack afterwards. Like, yeah, he hit way harder than before. Uh, Please no brimstone. Yes. I think even if he um maybe. Let's see. Ah oh, he survived. Oh my man Venomage. Woo! OP, I tell you. Like now brimstone. Yes, nice. We got it. We got it. And now we're gonna just finish it up. He didn't die, that's cool. Alright, we got it done. So it's my first clear of this month. So I just showed it with you kind of what I kind of know, what, how to handle it and stuff. We're gonna take a look at the stats, of course, because they're super important. I'm gonna talk about a little bit more of like, yeah. Like when you don't have heal reduction, just bring another tank that has high high blessings. And yeah, how, how you gonna get it? Again, you gotta be on lowest HP in the team while having the, the most defense to actually yeah not get hit so hard on the end because of defense values and of course you don't need accuracy on the end maybe for your amios on that champion like if it would be a pivot or something then it shouldn't be like you don't it, maybe you want to use the brimstone it kind of depends if you have brimstone you want to land some debuff you know how the game is i who am i talking to most of you are like really nice players and you kind of know and i just sharing what i know so far so that's how we made him up like regeneration and immortal super important and also like something like that one right here it gives you way more heals decreasing the damage get more heals out of here and also reducing the damage right here that should be enough maybe you want to have on the end more accuracy or something on your champion go ahead and build more i also for more healing right here and when we under I have more healing right here. So he you saw sometime he was a little bit in a struggle, not gonna lie, but it, it turned out to be okay. So basically everything right here has like defense, defense, and the rest is kind of more of defense focus, so he can be the tank. And the other champion, what we used in our team, I kind of forgot to say what I have on a blessing on my Venomage. It's emergency heal, it will heal you every time it breaks a shield, and also we have a ring or amulet or whatever you bring that gives us a shield and that will automatically be a a heal for us it could be four more champions just have more hp and regeneration get sets to be honest really really nice for amios get yourself like two three regeneration sets they are really kind of speedy and defense hp accuracy you know how it is but just get a couple of those sets it is worth to farm them really they, they, they come back all the time every time something new is coming up that is a little bit hard on the beginning you can just regeneration set and do it slowly but get your kills done and stuff and he's not almost on 250 but speed uh, yeah the minimum for for teams like that is 250 speed but he will get a little bit speed of his passive and stuff so that's why it's okay i get a 81k hp 4500 defense so he just has way more hp than my random mage and random mage will always be attacked but also if you have like 65k hp 
and stuff like that it is okay because your tank will always be the guy with the lowest hp and the highest defense besides one of your other champions like when he hit you and he's about to look for the champion he's gonna attack then you have to be like over i think it was like 30 percent of your hp bars on, on the other champions and then he's still gonna go for the tank the, that what you decided even if he has like 80 percent of his hp bar still left he will still go for the champions just sometimes when you're super low on a other champion's hp then you the, he will go for that like almost killed champion keep that in mind so that's why you want the, your other champions to have certain things too those are the masteries i I think they're still from Ice Golem or something. I <laughs> technically can't tell right now. I haven't used them in a long, longer time. But yeah, for something like that, it's cool. The Brimstone is on a 5 right now. So that is more cool for me because it's it's more easy to get it out. But you, you just need a 1 star and it should be totally okay. And also, you can technically do it without the Brimstone. It just takes longer because you're just using HP Burn and the Poison of Venom Mage to make the damage. But yeah, it is working. Like it's it's not. It takes like maybe ten minutes or something. And yeah, but it's okay. And I don't think I have to show you anything else anymore. So for the future, it is just look out for your highest blessing champion and give him basically low HP, high defense, and he will beat your tank. He will survive the hit. Make team around him. Use Pythion for example to block the block uh, to block the stun and you even have one more turn more to recover and use more skills get, don't lose your cooldowns and stuff and bring a healer whatever and of course heal reduction is kind of i think that is mostly the second thing i'm trying to find what kind of champions are in there that have heal reduction it makes my life way easier just you see just the HP bar going downwards and that feels way better than just just yeah going up down up down up down and yeah it's not not too liked about me so I'm trying to get heal reduction out there but if I can't you can just use a G nut in there to out damage the thing it just takes a little bit longer because he will heal but that is okay because you just do the damage with HP burn poison eight brimstone max HP hits and it should be okay for you but the f <laughs> yeah the hardest thing is always your tank. High blessings, get him up, make the other champions have more HP, and kind of got easy. You, you saw I can just freely talk about it on the end and it should was way, way, way easier. But I think I talked too much. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But yeah, I hope I will see you in the next time. Leave a like. It is always appreciated. I need it. And subscribe if you haven't done already. And also, yeah, <laughs> have a nice day.